Hi, I'm Tim Frost, and recently I was asked to film a couple of interviews of some sports TV broadcasters after an award ceremony. Being a sports event, I wanted to make it look sporty as well as sound good, so the hunt went on for a good handheld interview mic. It has to be a dynamic mic for ease of use, designed for voice or vocal work, and with a cardioid response to cut down on background noise. Oh, and preferably without an on-off switch, which you can accidentally leave in the off position and lose your interview sound completely. Even sticking to the big brands, there's a nice choice in the sub $100 level from the likes of Shaw, AKG, Electra Voice and Sennheiser, as they all see this as an important entry-level product area. I went for the Shaw SM48, which is a little down market from the SM58, which what Shaw says is the most popular vocal mic in the world, but as this is for speech rather than singing, it'll do the trick. Having got the mic with a decent length and good quality cable, I wanted to go for that sports interview look with the windshield and the station ident on the mic. The easy part was getting the foam windshield, though you do need one with a large enough diameter hole to go over the metal windshield. On a mic with a good large metal windshield like this, the only real need for additional foam is for outdoors to cut out the effects of wind against the mic. But as these interviews would be inside, this is really just for show. The station ident was a little trickier. These idents are called microphone flags, and they are printed plastic cubes or triangles with a foam inner to slide over the body of the mic. The people who make these will print them up, which looks great. The only problem is that it costs around $150 to set the print up, which is okay if you're a radio or TV station buying dozens of them, but out of the question for just one. So instead, I got some blank flags, which are just a few dollars each. Printed up the logo and stuck them on. Here, I've used some large two-per sheet labels and printed onto them. Careful trimming and they look fine. Plain paper sticky labels are easiest to do. You can use glossy photo paper, which gives a crisper look, but being thicker, it needs careful bending and sticking. So here we are in action and looking and the, sounding great. The challenge great. also is uh, with uh, a UEFA production. You have only a few hours to get on air. Uh, so, uh, if you have any further questions about interview microphones, just put them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe for more useful and sometimes plain silly ideas to help you with your YouTube work.